Welcome back. This is Dr. Velez, and today I want to show a problem using proportional triangles to find the width of a river. The problem says that Jane wants to find the width of the river without having to cross the river. She's only on one side, let's say like Jane is here on the north side of the river, and she knows based on proportional triangles that if we compare two triangles, the ratio of the sides are similar. So being here on that side, north side of the river, she can measure three distances. Distance B, which is from the rock to the edge of the river. And then standing here, James is standing here. She looks to the other side of the river and she sees a tree on the other side of the river. So she imagines a line that goes from the rock to the, this second tree on the other side of the river. And she marks a point here and she can measure now distance A. Then she walks over here, and then she marks a second point, and now she gets the distance big A. Okay, she's on the north side of the river, and she measures three distances. B, little lowercase b, lowercase a, and capital case a. Okay. Now, if we see these two triangles, I'm going to draw here the two triangles. My small triangle, and the, which is inside the big triangle here. Just the green triangle here. And the green triangle is all this the green triangle. Okay. If we relate the sides, this will be A and this will be B. And this will be capital A and capital B. Now this capital B is all this. Now she uses proportional triangles and says base over height of the small triangle equals base of the over height over the big triangle. But then notice that big B equals B plus X, where X is the actual width of the river. So if I use this equation here, then this becomes B over A equals B plus X over capital A. And now she needs to solve for x because x is the width of the river. So to do so, let's multiply both sides by capital A. This will cancel the capital A. And my next equation looks like this. Looks a b over a equals b plus x. Because we are solving for x, I need now to subtract b from both sides, because that way this cancels out. And my final solution is going to be X, which again, that's the width of the river she's looking for, equals A, capital A, B over lowercase A minus B. Now she's ready to solve the problem because for this specific case, she measures these distances. So I'm going to copy these distances and plug into the formula. So let's plug into the formula. So from this game problem, A equals 22 meters, B equals 35 meters, sorry about that. And capital A equals 86 meters. Right, let's plug this into this equation. So the 86 times 35 over 22, minus 35. Okay, let's do the math. We do the math, this equals 136.81 minus 35, which our final solution will be 101.8 meters. That's the width of the river. Notice that Jane was able to measure the width of the river without having to cross it, just from being on the north side of the river, by drawing these two triangles and measuring the distance. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.